Students, parents, teachers, non-teaching staff and the institution's management trekked for 12 kilometers as part of an initiative to raise funds towards replacing the school's roofing. This initiative comes after the environmental watchdog NEMA advised the school management to get rid of the asbestos roofing as it poses a health hazard. Nanyuki High School principal Oliver Manishi says they intend to replace the roofing with iron sheets but the process has proven to be costly. We are actually in a dilemma and uh, we think that uh, we are operating dangerously. Uh, we need to be assisted uh, by the stakeholders, well-wishers and even the government to ensure that we have removed the asbestos from our roofs. According to Minishi, the school is no longer harvesting rainwater from the roofs for fear of subjecting students to the cancerous metals contained in asbestos. Uh, there's a lot of risk at the dormitory area and even at the dining hall uh, because of the temptation of uh, the students uh, wanting to use that water, rainwater, uh, from the roofs, either to wash cloth or even to drink. Like UPN NEMA director Fanuel Mosago says it is paramount that the school replaces the roofing as they date back to the colonial period. The viper lives, stays for a long time in the air. Asbestos is dangerous especially when it begins wearing out because before wearing out it's intact. But as it wears out, then the fiber gets out in the air and we can breathe in. Or if we have water asbestos on our roofs, the fiber as it wears out and you're drinking water using that uh, from that roof, then you're exposing yourself to the dangers of getting this um, lung cancer. Musago said they have issued regulations on how to remove asbestos and safely bury it in areas far away from human settlements. The roofing covers the offices, classes, laboratories and teachers' quarters in the school. Reporting for Channel 1 News, I'm Jackie Wambiru.